master instructor. Go ahead. Hey guys. Uh, yesterday was indeed a difficult workout. We're going to do another tough one, uh, this time a little more focused on the hips as opposed to the hamstring. Um, I'm Laurel, for those I've not yet met. I'm based in Santa Monica, and we're working out in my living room together right now. Uh, as Steve mentioned, grab your water and take a sip. Before we get started, let's do that together. And my only rule for this workout is do your best. That's all I ask listen to your body. If something starts to hurt or it doesn't feel right, pause, take time. There'll be modifications for a lot of these exercises. So push yourself within reason. So with that being said, if at any point anyone has questions, feel free to unmute or just give us a shout in the group chat. Let's go ahead and get going. So bands on arms, we're going to come up to stand. And make sure to start your cycle if you're not already there. All right, and we're going to start with some mobility work for the arms. So we did some of this yesterday. We're going to take the left arm across the body and just start to draw big circles with the right arm, moving it around. And we want to do our best not to let the body wiggle and shift. So really engaging your core and your glutes so that the work gets into the shoulder joint. And the shoulder is a ball and socket joint, so we want to take it through as full of a range of motion as we can, because it's supposed to be able to move that way. A couple more. See if you can slow it down, make the move even more profound. And last one. Good. And let's move into the other arm, right arm across the body, opening up the left shoulder. Moving through it. And just starting to observe in your body where one side might be a little bit tighter than the other. Typically we have one side that's a little bit more stiff, especially if you're right-handed, your left arm might be tighter and vice versa. And we'll say one more. Working through it. And then give the shoulders a roll. And take your arms out to the side and just start to draw some shoulders moving the arms around a little bit different direction, the shoulder sockets going forwards, and you can make fists to add some tension, a little bit more difficulty. And then we'll move them around the other way. And, and then reaching the arms up, start to bend the elbows behind you, open up the chest, squeeze your elbows together, and let's do that again. Reach the arms up. Bend into the elbows, squeeze them together, getting a stretch across the chest. And last one, arms up, pull it in, squeeze and hold, and then clasp your hands behind the back, lengthen out your spine, start to lift the arms up the back of the body and set them down. Lift the arms up and off the back of the body and release them. We'll take two more. Notice if your spine is starting to arch here, think a slight tuck of the tailbone and lift and hold. Pulling the shoulder heads back, lengthening through those biceps. We're going to hold for five, four, three, two, and release. Shake the hands out. Maybe roll the wrists around. So in the workouts that I've attended in the past, we've started with our forearms because we always want to start with the smaller muscles of the arms first. And we're going to start with the forearms again today, but instead of curled, we're going to do what's called crab walk. So start to make your way down onto the mat or the floor. Root your feet into the floor. And I want you to keep your feet from moving the entire time we do this. And so we're going to do two 30-second sets. So I'm going to start to press yourself up and off your butt. And without letting your feet move, you're going to walk your hands in towards your heel. And then you're going to walk your hands all the way back as far as you can. Walk the hands in towards the heel. Walk the hands all the way back. And we have two 30-second sets. I'm starting to wake up the forearms a little bit. And really try and keep your hips up as high as you can. I'm checking form, walking it out. Fingertips are pointing towards our heels and walking it back in. Walk it out. Keep your hips up. Walk it back in. Arms stay nice and straight and strong the whole time, pressing the floor away from us. And back in. And in five, we're going to take a rest. We have four, three, two, and one. Set your butt down. Give the wrist a stretch. And as we do our next set, I'd like you to try and lift your hips up even higher so we're also activating our glutes in the back of the body. 
and see if you can do the move without letting your body rock side to side. So we're not only working the forearms, but we're also working our core. So go ahead and get your butt off the floor. Second 30 seconds, time is going. So start to crab walk back and bring yourself back in. Silly, absolutely, but it's good for our form. We walk back and we bring ourselves back in. And we're about half done here. And if you want, you can try and pick up the pace a little bit more. Fast crab walk, all the way in, 10 more seconds. In five, we're gonna walk our hands in towards our heels and hold it. We have four, three, two, and one. Hold here, press the floor away from you, get your hips up, little bend in the elbows, press up. We have six, starting to work into the triceps, five, four, three, hips even higher, two, and one. Go ahead and set your butt down, roll the shoulders out. And then we're gonna come up for our first series of heart rate booster work. So come on up to stand. There's three moves that we're gonna repeat three times. And this is in between each set of exercises to get our heart rate up and going, really activating our whole body. So for our first 30 seconds, it's a tuck jump. You go back, tap jump, tap jump. So that's 30 seconds of that. The second 30 seconds is gonna be pendulum swings. Our arms are out, we kick, kick, up, kick, kick up, kick, kick up. And then our second 30 seconds is gonna be a run in place with a double overhead punch. I'm spinning my arms, I'm getting my knees high and I'm running it out. So let's jump into the first 30 seconds together. We have tuck jump. We are going up, tuck, and tuck. And if the jump is too much, you can slap the knees. You can just come up, slap, up, and slap. Otherwise, add that jump. All right, Woo. 10 more seconds. Get those feet off the floor. Start to wake up the heart. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, right into pendulum swings, arms out to the side. Kick, kick, swing, kick, kick, swing. Kick, kick, swing, kick, kick, swing. Keep going. And you'll start to feel the body warming up, heart rate is lifted. We're opening up the hips here, activating our obliques, and our arms stay nice and strong out by the side of the whole time. Last 10. See if you can pick up the pace. Good. In five, we're going to come into our final 30 seconds, a jog with an overhead punch. We have three, two, and one. Jog it out. We're rolling those arms. Last 30 seconds here. And then we're going to come down for our next exercise. See if you can get those knees up. We're moving. All right, spin the arms the opposite way. Light on the toes. We have 10. As fast as we possibly can. All out, go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Catch your breath, take a sip of water, take a gander at the screen. I'm gonna demonstrate our next exercise. But you have a minute here just to pause, chill, do whatever you need to do. The next exercise is called a diamond push-up. So we're activating the triceps instead of normal push-ups, which are more so the chest. So I take my pointer finger and my thumb in a diamond shape and I root it into the floor. I come into plank position and then I drop down and up. So same as regular push-ups, we just have a different hand formation. So go ahead and make your way down onto your knees. Find that diamond position with hands. I'd like us to start with shoulders stacked over wrists. We're doing three sets. The first set is just normal. Down and up, whatever pace you need to do to sustain 30 seconds. So go ahead and make your way back into plank. 30 seconds, diamond push-ups. We are going. And down and up. And I'm gonna take a gaze at form and see how we're doing. Cool. And making sure to keep the glutes and the core engaged so we're not sagging into our hips and compromising our low back at all. Awesome. Nice, moderate pace, knowing that we have two more sets to go. And these don't have to be super big. As long as you're bending your elbows, think about a plank with an elbow bend. So keeping the whole body nice and active. We're going to rest in five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Go ahead and press your butt back to your heels. 20 seconds rest in child's pose. 
Give your head a rock side to side, shake it no. Let the arms relax, take a big breath in. Let it go. And start to shift your weight forward back onto hands and knees. Find that diamond shape of the hands. And then step back into plank, second set, we are going. This time, I want you to try and do slow motion. So we go down, two, three, up, two, three. Down, two, three, up, two, three. And that's our move. If you need to drop the knees, that's fine. Try and go as slowly as you possibly can. This is our second set. So still sustaining. All right. Half done. Good. See if you can do two more. We have six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. 20 seconds rest. Tricep stretch. Pop the right hand between the shoulder blades. Option to use the left hand to guide it back a little bit more. Feeling the stretch across the back of the arm. And switch sides. And release. Come on down, down, up, down, up. As fast as you can, being mindful of form and fatigue in our bodies. So set yourself up, pop into plank, final set of diamond push-ups, and go. Down, up, down, up. And then you should be getting your heart rate up. So everything is working here. The body is one unit that works together. Are your legs just as active as your arms? See if you can squeeze everything. Last 10 seconds, maybe we can do four more. We have six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, good job. Tuck the toes under, take the hands parallel, and press your hips up and back into a downward facing dog, and bend alternate knees to pedal out the legs. I'm getting a hamstring stretch as we actively push the mat away from us with our hands, working the shoulders. And then walk your hands back to meet your feet, roll up to stand. Heart rate boost, we have tuck jumps, pendulum swings, and jog with overhead punch. The first 30 seconds, tuck jumps, let's go. Get high off those feet, knees pulled into the chest. Use your core to get there. If you don't have neighbors below you, imagine that you do. Don't let them hear you. Last 10. We're moving on to pendulum swings in five, four, three, Two and one, arms out, keep them straight and strong. We go side to side, swing, swing, kick, and kick, and kick, and kick. See how high you can get that leg up there. Starting to open up the hip. See if you can keep your arms completely still. So activating those muscles, maybe even making fists. Kick, swing, swing, kick. 10 more seconds. All right. In five, we're gonna do a jog with overhead punch. We have four, three, two, and one. Jog it out, get those arms rolling, and reach them up. Moving it around. Knees up, knees up. Rotating the arms the opposite direction. Half done, 15 more seconds here, as fast as you possibly can, go, go, go. After this, you're gonna take a nice break and do a more simple exercise. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Grab your water. Take a pause. Now is a good time. If you have any questions, feedback, comments, go ahead and unmute yourself, and we'll chat for a moment before we work into bicep curls. If any of you want to uh, release your bands for a bit right now and uh, give yourself a little bit of break, uh, <laughs> you could do so. Uh, the next set, if you would like, if you would like, you could move it up from low to medium or medium to high. Um, and if you have just the Kotz Aqua Bands, you can put them a little bit higher or a little bit lower, depending on how you feel. Any questions? Go ahead and unmute yourself <laughs> if you have questions. Let's see anything. Yeah, can All we right. do training mode? 
Uh, not, not just yet. I mean, if, if you think you're uh, warmed up enough, you can get to training mode, but, uh, but I, uh, about how much more do we have on the arms? All we have left is uh, bicycles and a lateral plank walk. Okay, then Jeff, go ahead and do the, the training mode. Yeah. And the bicep curls are just like purely contracting the muscle and releasing so that it, it's a good time to, to kick it up a little bit. So anyone else have any questions? All right, let's keep going. So find your cycle. Check your palms, making sure that when you press, we get blood coming back into the hands within three seconds. And then next up, we have bicep curls. So extend the arms out in front of you. Make this, if you have some weights at home, you can grab those in your hands. Keeping the back nice and straight, we're just gonna curl up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, Two. And we have 30 seconds here. And you really get to choose how much resistance you put on your own body, squeezing not only the fists but the biceps as you bring them in and out. And see where you might have the opportunity to even engage your core a little bit, growing taller from the top of your head. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. Release it. Okay, one more set of those. So go ahead, bring those arms out in front of you, make fists, and second set. This time we're gonna go for speed. So we go in, out, in, out. 30 seconds, here we go. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Still activating the muscles the whole time. In, out, in, out. We're half done, and move. Good work. We have 10, and nine, eight, and seven, last six, five, four, three, two, squeeze and hold, little pulses, in and in. Grow even taller, elbows up, first six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, bicep stretch, clasp the hands behind the back, again, reach the fist down, open up the chest, and release it. Last exercise with the bands on, it's a lateral plank walk. So we're moving side to side. So we're gonna come on down to the floor. We're going for a minute straight here. So I'm gonna come down onto my hands and feet in the plank position, and we're gonna move side to side. One minute, all right? So hop on down, we're going side to side. One minute, time starts now, go. And I want you to try and do this, keeping your back flat the whole time. So the hips and the back don't move, only the arms and the legs. And we got a whole minute, so keep that pace nice and even so you can keep it up the whole time. And if you need to move fast here, move fast, get going. <laughs> we are half done. Got side to side. Last 15 seconds. Keep moving. If you need to pause and plank, pause and plank, that's fine. Otherwise, keep going, last 10. We're gonna drop the knees in five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, wiggle your hips side to side. And before we remove the bands, take your right hand and weave the back of the right arm underneath the left arm for a shoulder stretch. And then pressing into the left hand, come back up through center. Find the back of your left hand, weave it underneath the right arm, shoulder stretch. Making sure we're breathing here. And then come back up through center. And let's go ahead and switch out the bands to our leg bands. So go ahead and release the arms. And we'll set up for the second part of our workout. Good job, everyone, so far. Steve, is there anything you want to add here while we're setting up? All right. <laughs> okay. So as we put our leg bands on, assuming I can get my armband off. We want to put them on 
as many of you are familiar, not straight across, but with we take it all the way up to the crease of the hip here, and we want to lift up even higher. So working this outer part of the band towards the hip bone, and then tightening it as much as we can. And a way to get the band even tighter is to actually come down to sit. The muscle fully relaxes, and it's really hard to go too tight with the leg band. So really give yourself a generous squeeze here. And the same principle applies. You want to be able to fit more, no more than one finger into that space. I'm scooting the bands all the way up. I'm going to grab my other one. Get hooked up. And really trying to let the muscles relax as much as we can here as we get our leg bands on so that we can create even more tension and make our work that much more meaningful. Okay. Questions, comments? ideas, revelations before we continue, feel free to take yourself off mute. All right, I'm hooked up. And once you're all hooked up to your bands, go ahead and find your cycle. Grab a sip of water. And we're gonna come up for some active stretching for the legs. We're coming on up to stand. Take your hands to alternate shoulder. And your job here is to keep your back, your spine as flat as possible. So as we do this, everyone has a tendency to kind of hunch. I want you to think almost more back bend than anything else. So take a small bend into the knees, start to hinge forward, keeping that back bend. You'll feel the length across the back of the hamstring. And then slow motion, we rise all the way back up. All right, let's do some more. Leading with the belly button, think back bend. You can start to straighten your legs out a little bit here, getting an even deeper stretch. And then we rise back up into it. We're gonna take two more and you can pick your pace. And the goal here as we come down is to get as low as we can without letting the spine round out. And if you're not a very flexible person, this might be hard, and that's exactly why we do it. So let's all meet hinging forward and hold. Now we're gonna hold here for 10 seconds and keep dropping your belly button down towards the floor, pulling your shoulders, your upper trapezius away from your ears. And we have five, getting a little bit lower for four, three, two, fully release the hands, let everything hang. Shake your head yes, we're doing awesome. Shake your head no, no more push-ups. And then as slowly as you can, roll up one vertebrae at a time to stand, head, neck, and shoulders, lift last. And we're gonna step the feet really wide for sumo squat calf raises. So go ahead and step the feet very, very wide here. And I want you to try and angle your toes out towards side walls. And as we do this, the knees are gonna wanna flop forwards. I want you to think about pressing the outer edges of your knees back. You can do whatever you want with your hands. So we're gonna do 30 seconds. We're gonna drop into that sumo squat and then we're gonna go heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down. So first set, 30 seconds. And I want you to think about keeping your spine straight and dropping your tailbone down towards the floor, a little bit lower, a little bit lower with every beat that goes by. So really working into it, opening up the hips, Starting with the smallest muscles in the body, so we're working our calves first. Good, we have 10. In five, we're gonna dance. We have three, two, one. Take your right heel off the floor. Set it down, left heel. Set it down, going side to side for four, three, two. Both heels lift and hold, pulse it up and down. Keep those heels up. We have 10. Straight spine, get even lower. Feel that shake for five. Four, three, two, drop the heels, come up, parallel the feet, rock side to side, all the way over to one side, all the way over to the other side. And let's add the hands all the way over, getting oblique stretch, the other side, and two more. Over to one side, walking fingertips down towards ankle, and back through center, and we have one more set. So come on up, angle the toes out, Bend into the knees, get low, both heels at the same time. We lift and lower, up 
and down. Notice if your knees are starting to get sleepy and flop in, keep pressing them open. Maybe even drop your butt a little bit lower. This is the last that we're doing. Up and down. We are more than half done. And of course, we're gonna work into it at the bottom in 10. Maybe take your arms straight up if you want more of a challenge. In five, four, three, two, lift both heels, hold, down and up. Drop the tailbone, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Get those heels even higher. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heel toe the feet together, shake them out. And before we continue on to our next exercise, I actually have a question for everyone. And we're not gonna continue until we get the answer. True or false? Mobility and flexibility are the same thing. Anyone? False. False? Yes, that's correct. Can anyone tell me the difference between mobility and flexibility? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, fine, I'll take it. <laughs> so flexibility is the lengthening of a muscle. So if you think I bend over, my hamstring lengthens, that's flexibility. It's thinking about muscles like a rubber band. How long can it stretch and then return to its normal strength state? Mobility is actually how well our joints move. So what we did in the beginning of class, it's the range of motion that we can get in a given joint. So this next set, we're gonna work on mobility. We're gonna be strengthening and increasing the range of motion in our hips. So come on down to hands and knees. Check your cycle. I need to restart mine. And then I want you to imagine that you have a weight in your right knee crease. And if you have an actual weight, you can pop it in there. And start to lift your right heel up towards your bottom. Now, I want us to make sure that our arms are straight and strong the entire time we do this. Don't bend the elbows at all. So pushing the floor away from you. Start to open your knee out to the right. Squeeze your outer hip like heck. Now bring right knee to right elbow, knee to nose, and kick your heel back to your butt. So essentially we're making a really big circle. So we're gonna take 30 seconds working through this range of motion. Big old circles out to the right. Each time you do this, I want your circle to get a little bit bigger, making sure that you're not bending into the left elbow. And if you're doing these right, you should really be feeling them. They should be kind of intense in the outer right hip. And keep pulling your heel in towards your butt the whole time, keeping that hamstring nice and active. All right, now let's go the other way. Knee into nose, out to the right, bring it around and through. And no part of the body should be moving besides this leg. Hip bones stay facing down to the floor the whole time. And we'll take three more circles. See if you can slow it down, make your biggest, slowest movements of the day all the way up and around. Last two. And final one. And we're gonna go right into the other side. So imagine you're holding something in your left knee crease, pull your heel in towards your butt, open it out to the left, bring it up, around, and through. So think about four movements, heel up, Knee out, shoulder, nose, and back. And we're moving. Check the right elbow, make sure it's straight. And then let's go ahead and circle around the other direction. If you notice that you're getting any pops or cracks in your hips here, that's completely normal, as long as they're not painful. Just working through the bones. They're talking a little bit if they haven't been used in this way as much. See where you can draw on your belly button. Make even intense, more hard. You know how to create that tension in your own body. Three more. Last two. And the final one. Good job. Set the left knee down. Circle the hips around to the right. And move the hips around to the left. Make big old circles. And let's come on up to stand. Let's get the heart rate going again. So first 30 seconds, tuck jump. Let's go. Uh, 
Let me hear a resounding smack when you get those thighs. And after this, we're gonna go into pendulum swing. We have five, four, three, two, arms up to the sides, make this. Pendulum swings and go. Swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. Swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. Try not to let the upper body move. Get that leg up a little bit higher each time. Nice work, yay. Last 10. Speed it up. Kick, swing, swing, kick. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Last thing here, run in place, double punch. Get those knees up. Higher, 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 faster, faster, go, 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 go. Roll the arms the opposite way. Last 10, as fast as you can go, all out sprint. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water, quick pause. All right. Squats, familiar exercise. Three sets, 30 seconds each. First set is just a regular squat. I step my feet hip distance apart. I angle my toes out, so I'm opening up my hips. The number one rule here is do not let your heels pop off the floor. If that happens, you're a great human. You just have tight calves, and we don't want to let your calves compensate. We want to really force the hips to do the work. So we drop down, we come up. We drop down, we come up. First 30, we are going. I'm gonna check form here. And each time you do this, see if you can go a little bit lower. Get those arms nice and straight. Activate your shoulders. We go down and up. Nice. I like it. Last 10. See if you can take your lowest variation yet. We're gonna come up in five. Four, three, and two. So keeping your toes angled out, bend your knees, grab onto your big toes, and then straighten your legs as much as you can for a stretch. So we wanna keep the big toes in contact with our hands and rock side to side. Good, let the head hang, release the toes, roll on up. Second set of squat jumps, or squats. We go down as we come up single leg. Down, up, down, up, down, up, as fast as you can. Second set, go. Down, up, down, up. Heels stay down the whole time still. Get those knees up, use your core. Down, up, low as you can go, down, and up. So working a little bit of balance here. Whole body is moving, half done. Really get spring in your step as you come up. Pull it in. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Final set. You can do either of the first two variations. So regular air squats. You can do the single leg. Or you can kick it up a notch and do squat air jumps. So we go down, up, down, up. Light on the toes the whole time. 30 seconds, final set, then we get a quick rest, go. I'm seeing some jumping, yes. Awesome. All right. Sophia, I see Jordan's doing the work. Go Judy, last five. See if you can do one more big old jump for four. Three, two, and rest. Make your way over to a wall, a chair, something if you've got it. Take your hands to the wall and If you want a little bit more, you can find a wall, 
take the top of the foot to the wall and lean against it. So getting the body weight in there to help you. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Grab the left ankle. Pull the knees together, grow taller. You can lean against the wall or a chair if you've got it. And then go ahead and release that one. To get our heart rate up again, we're gonna do a different series of heart rate boosters. It's leg to arm kicks. So follow along. We're gonna take the right leg, angle it out to the side. Left leg is back behind us. I take my right hand to my thigh and I kick up, down, up, down. So keeping the bend in that side leg. 30 seconds, let's go. Get your leg to your arm, not your arm to your leg. Up, down, up, down. Working the oblique. Faster we can go, the better. See if you can take an even bigger bend in your right knee. Down, up, down. Today is all about the hip. Opening everything up. Up, down. Last 10 seconds. Get that leg all the way up, even faster. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Left toes angle out to the left. Arm comes out to the side. Hand is down for support. 30 seconds, then we move on to our exercise. And go. Up. So we're balancing on that one leg. And if moving works, do a little go, half done, speed it up, get that leg even higher, maybe bend into the left leg even more. Yes, we have 10, nine, eight, and seven. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab water. We have. Wait here and not walk your hands down very far, then bend out the knees because then we're not really getting the benefit of the stretch. All right. And roll back up to stand. We're going to come down onto hands and knees again. These are alternative burpees. So the name of the game today is hip. So we're going to do a hip centric burpee. And we have three sets. So the first one, you're in plank. You step your foot outside your hand, or you get it as high as you can. Step your other foot up. I'm in a squat. I rise, come back down into squat, step back, step back. I step up, step up, squat one, squat two, step back, step back. First 30 seconds, I'll be demonstrating these ones. You can work through it with me. And the challenge here is getting your legs up really high towards your shoulders. Don't skip the squats. And down, step back. Using the core, step up, step up. We rise, drop back into the squat, bending the knees, leading with the tailbone, step back. Using all of that stuff we did to open up the hips, all of the squats to make it into one movement for the whole body. Good, everyone see if you can do one more. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down into that squat, set your knees down for our second set. This time, you're going to step up, step up, jump, come down, step back, step back, step up, step up, jump, step back, okay? If you don't want to add the jump today, don't add the jump. Movement is movement. Second set, go. Step up, step up, making sure we bend the knees, coming into a squat at the top and the bottom of the exercise. Yes. Awesome. Nice, Ethan. Cool. Last 10. See if you can do one more for five, four, 
three, two, one. Everyone come down onto your knees. Take them really wide into a frog pose. Angle your toes out towards opposite walls. Make sure your heels are in line with your knees. Start to rock backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. Good. Actively opening up the adductors, our inner thighs, also known as groin. And gentlemen, you often have as much tighter space here than the ladies. So be especially patient with yourself. It's not comfortable. Good, two more. Shift back, pulling your butt towards your heels. Shift forward, now shift your butt back and hold it. We're gonna do a little march. Lift your right foot off the floor. Set it down. Lift your left foot up. Set it down. One more time, right foot. Set it down, left foot. Set it down, both feet lift. Keep pressing your butt back. You can even come down under your forearms. Keep pressing your knees down. Get those heels up for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wiggle your knees together. Our final set of alternative burpees, double jump. We jump up into squat, jump up, come down, jump back, jump up, leap, come down, jump back. 30 seconds, go. Final one. Yeah, really getting those feet outside of the hands as high as you possibly can. Open up the hips, strengthen every muscle in the leg. Awesome job, we are half done, keep moving. Yes, leap as high as you can, get those arms all the way up. See if you can do one more. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come up to stand, shake it out. And for our last couple things for today, we're gonna do balance work. We're gonna get our heart rate up again, and then we're gonna do core and we are done. So if you have a book or some item that you would like to place on your head, find that now. It can be a book or a pillow, anything. I'm going to grab a pillow. Why not? Put a pillow on my head. Go ahead and pop that item on your head, as silly as it might be. <laughs> and there we go. I'm losing my pillow. And see if you can come onto the tiptoes of the right foot. And if the pillow falls, it falls. I know mine's gonna fall, but we do this to keep the core engaged. Start to lift your right leg up and off the floor and set it down. So it's a single leg march. We go up and down, up and down. Good, first six, five. Doesn't matter how high you lift your leg, as long as you're doing it, really pressing into the left leg to stand. Four, strong. Three, zipping your belly button all the way up to your chin. Two, on this next one, we're gonna lift and hold it. Arms come out by your side. If you want more, draw circles here. Keep that pillow, that book, or the top of your head completely stable for five, four, three, two, hold it. Kick your right leg straight, bend it in. Kick it out, bend it in. Last two, and one. Pull the knee into the chest, reach the arms up, big breath in. Exhale, bring the arms down, set the foot down. And if you can, we're gonna shift right to the other side. So coming onto the tiptoes of the left foot. Oop, my pillow is shifting, okay? So you can start just by lifting off and setting it down, small movements. And then you can work towards all the way side to chest. Up and down. And this might sound really bizarre, but I like to practice my balance at times where I'm doing kind of mundane things. So if I'm standing in line at the grocery store, I'll try and do it on one foot. If I'm brushing my teeth, I try and do it on one foot. We have three, two, lift and hold. Arms out to the sides, palms face up, circling the other direction. Good, keep pressing into the right leg, grow even taller, use your core, get that left knee in. Oh, there we go. Yes, we have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, hold. Kick your left leg straight and bend. And out and in. Last four. Whatever variation you can do, three, two, and one. Pull that knee in, reach the arms all the way up, big breath in. 
Exhale, bring the arm and the legs down and get rid of that book or that pillow, toss it over to the side. Last set of heart rate boosters, oblique work. Then we do core and we are done for the day. All right. Right leg out to the right. Take your hand onto that thigh. Check your cycle. Get it grooving. Leg to arm, 30 seconds. Let's go. Up, 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 up. This is our last one. Fast as you can. Oh, go. Try and keep that arm stable. Woo, moving it. There we go. All right, half done. We have 10 seconds. Really get that leg up. I like it for five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the other side. Left toes angle out to the left. Rest that arm in, up, and up. Get my timer going. Here we go. Think about like your favorite song or something, playing it in your head as you're going. Last 10, all the way up, fast as you can. Go, keeping the balance on the left leg for eight, seven, six, and five. Last four, four three, two. Make your way onto your back for core. We're gonna jump right into it. 30 seconds, starting on your butt actually. Fingertips out by the sides. Legs up, we're circling one direction. 30 seconds, one way. Try and keep your back as straight as you can. If you need to do it with bent knees, that's okay. Keep moving the legs around. Using the legs, the core, to get your legs even higher. Nice straight spine. These ones kill me. Keep growing taller with the chest. Last 10 seconds. Driving your big toes away from the body for five, four, three, two. Other way, 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> I know. Terrible. Lift your chest. Woo, get those legs all the way up there. Thighs are burning. Everything is working. Last 10. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Legs up on your back. 10 neck and shoulders up and out. Reach and reach. Last 30 seconds of core. Then we are done with our workout. Get those fingertips towards toes. Try not to let the back of your head touch. And even better, active hamstring stretch. Push the ceiling away from you with your heels. Half done. Keep going. Up and up. We're reaching through the fingertips. We have 10. Draw the legs even closer towards the body. First six and five. Last four, three, two, and knees into the chest. Circle them both around one direction. Move them both around the other way. And then release the right leg onto the mat. Grab the back of the left thigh, pull the knee in towards the chest, and start to work that leg towards straight and rebend it. Work it up and down. And each time you pull your heel in towards your body, pull your knee in a little bit closer towards your chest. We go up and down. Good, relaxing the shoulders, maybe lengthening that leg out a little bit more each time, feeling that tug in the back of the hamstring. First three, last two, and one. Draw the knee into the chest, so as stretch, it's the deepest muscle in the body. Give your knee a big squeeze, pull it in. And then release the left leg, grab the back of the right thigh, same thing, start to work the leg towards straight and rebend it. And the smaller angle you have between your belly and your thigh, the harder it is. So if I'm at 90, it's a little bit easier than if I have, say, a 45 degree angle there. So you can challenge yourself and your active flexibility here. And I like to think of muscles as kind of like teenagers. If we force them into a lengthened state, they don't like it, they wanna rebel. But if we do active stretching, we encourage them into a lengthened state, we'll maintain that state longer. Three more. And if there's anyone who's a teenager on here, I'm sorry, you're awesome and wonderful. <laughs> Last one. Bend that knee into the chest, pull it in, give it a big squeeze. Knee is in line with the hip. And then draw both knees in. Rock and roll up and down along your spine, say two or three times. You can come up to sit. And take your left foot over your right leg. 
and then take the opposite arm onto the knee, spinal twist. And then it's important in each workout that we do that we do some kind of spinal twisting range of motion because we use this motion from everything from playing tennis to reaching across the table to grab a cup of coffee. Let's see if you can grow a little bit taller. And then untangle, come back to center. Step the right foot over the left leg. Take the twist. I'm suggesting they can make it exactly 20,000 pounds in the red a couple of times during the year, but that's no, assuming that e-commerce no, 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 continues this, at full this, sorry, is, this is a wipeout. This is a sorry, depression, sorry. James. This is 20% yes. unemployment, sorry. if not more. So, no. so, so, right, so, so, sorry about that. And let me... And I'm going to hang tight. Sorry, a but bit. so if anyone has questions, comments, feedback, I'm here as well as Steve to to answer any questions you might have. Awesome job, guys! Thank you very much, all. And um, again, we'll stay for a few moments for uh, any questions. If not, we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, tomorrow afternoon or evening, 3 p.m. California time, 6 p.m. New York time.